Brave HC taking on the Dateline Predators tonight for the first time since the Michael Fiorante fiasco last playoffs, which saw the Braves make an early playoff exit, while the Predators ringered their way to a championship. Tonight's healthy scratches included Mario and Michael Provenzano, Daniel Buzelli, Stefano Arditzi, and Keith Pearsall, while Mark Arruda and Dev Leong were both listed on the IL. In support, Krishnan Rajasuriar and Lorcan Duffy made their season debuts, while Adam Kober made his second start. First period, Braves get into some early penalty trouble when Andrew Castillo is called for tripping at 906. A power play the Braves would go on to kill. Of note, goaltender Stephen Logue playing in a Michael Jordan style flu game but still looking sharp. Better hope no one gets sick before Thanksgiving. Braves strike first at 618 when this Lorcan Duffy clap bomb fed by Stephane St. Don connects with a Ryan Logue tip in front to make it one to nothing. Later at 5.09, Adam Bruto connects with Justin Carosi in the neutral zone as the Predators find themselves in transition. Justin dangles by the lone defender and with a power move trickles it through the five hole to make it a 2-0 game. Second period, the grinder line getting it done at 7.52 with Andrew Cristillo headmanning the puck up to Mehdi Brancatella who makes a perfect pass to awaiting Stephane Sandun and with this, no mistaker scores his second of the season to make it 3-0. Later, another chance for the Braves with this Adam Bruto clap bomb that upon further review appears to get caught in the goaltender's equipment. And on the very next faceoff, another clap bomb from the point which seems to hit the post and ricochet out. Later at 5.17, Stefane Sandon digging out a puck and chipping it up to Ryan Lowe, who walks it in, feeding Ryan Finley in front for this beauty, his third of the season, to make it 4 to nothing for the Braves. The payback onslaught would continue. At 4.38, another Stefane Sandon chip finds Meaty Brancatella's stick in the neutral zone, who drops it back to Marco Congiusti to score his first of the year. Interestingly, the last goal Marco scored came against the Dayton line Predators on March 17, 2024. At 4.17, Alex Pagnota gets called for slashing, giving the Predators their second power play of the night. At 1.22, fresh out of the box, Alex Pagnota serves it back to Stefane Sandon, who quickly finds an open Ryan Finley in front. Ryan snipes this beauty, his second of the night, and team leading fourth of the season to make it 6 to nothing. On to the third period we go, the Predators get another power play chance when Ryan Logue gets called for interference for clearing of the stick, which the Predators took some exception to. However, like the others, the Braves would go on to kill this power play as well. Still remembering last playoff run, the Braves continue to show no mercy. Stephane Sandin with a good chance streaking down the wing and Ryan Finley also looking to complete his hat trick. But no such luck. The Braves would go on to hammer the Predators 6 to nothing, with Stephane Sandin leading the playmaking charge with a 5 point nut. Ryan Finley, Stephane Sandin, Ryan Logue, and Stephen Logue all shared player of the game honors for their various contributions.